Thankful to be alive. Dozens of seniors are counting their blessings this Thanksgiving after losing their homes in a fire this fall. Many of them were rescued from the flames by Marines. And as Tracy Leong reports, the service members are coming to their aid again, just in time for the holiday. Peace. No. Some gravy right here for you guys. Captain Trey Gregory is always ready to serve. Turkey. There you go. Even when he and his comrades got called up for dinner duty on Thanksgiving. Definitely glad we could show some hugs, give some smiles, serve some food, um, you know, celebrate the holidays. In mid September, Captain Gregory was among a handful of Marines who rushed from their barracks into this burning senior apartment complex in southeast Washington to get residents out. They needed help. That's when their instincts kicked in. We ran through all four floors of the building and just picked people up. Um, carry them, just try to get them rescued them safety. So of course, <laughs> yeah, of course. Now a chance for those they helped save to say thank you once more, including you Betty House. I thank God for them and what they did for us, and I'll never forget it. And I got a picture today. <laughs> While the residents are grateful, many still do not have a place to call home. I don't have nothing. Mary Laney is I one of about 90 residents who remains in temporary housing at a hotel. It's hard. I mean, you know. It's the holiday, and you're used to your family coming around, but there's no place for them to come. And we've lost so much. But on this day, they're getting and giving something back. A lot of the Marines uh, aren't able to go back home for whatever reason, and so I think events like this really foster more family. These are senior citizens. This could have been my, my grandparents or something like that, so I'm just glad that we could be there to support them. Embracing the few and the proud. Happy holidays. Yeah, you enjoy your meal? With hearts full, Tracy Leong for WJZ.